up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to be looking at the two biggest mistakes that i've made on my account and these are mistakes everyone should avoid um you know they can really hold back your account you want to get as good as you can as fast as you can and yeah these are the mistakes that i've made on my account so the first one is resources and it's books i have wasted a ton of legendary books booking out the wrong champions so let's have a look at the champions on my account and i'm going to go through the ones that i have so first one elagias um so it's not actually this elagias there's i've got two on my account and it's the other one i fully booked him for doom tower thinking he's going to be a huge game changer and he was just trash he's a real letdown um the next one gamaran um i sort of just i fully booked him for a video but he's definitely a champion you do not want to be booking. Um, he's fully awakened, and you can see Elagias is fully awakened as well. That has just been really unlucky with, with my pulls. Um, but yeah, Gamaran, I don't know, maybe I can find some potential for him, but he's not going to do anything for my account. The next champion on the list, that is uh, Emic. So Emic, he is a really good champion. However, you know, you can use him for unkillable, you can use him for Iron Twins, unkillable i've got that on lockdown so i don't need that but if i was a new player yes he'd be a great choice but it's just a waste of books for me to use um i was sort of playing around with him in live arena and he's good for that but he's not no he's not a huge game changer so that's a waste of legendary books for me i should have held off should have held on next one chagor chagor again not a great champion um like obviously early to mid game yes he's amazing but end game you know, he's not going to speed up my PvE runs. He's not going to help me for Arena. Um, and I, I sort of booked him out for Sand Devil. But even that, like, it's such awful... It's awful content to begin with. And he just did not help me with progression. So, you know, when you book a champion, you need to be 100% sure that, one, you need them on your account, and, two, they are going to be able to change your account and either speed something up or do something better than you already have in place. The next one is we're going to talk about is soul stones. So the biggest mistake I have made is in the mystic market. So what you want to do is with your coins is do not buy immortal soul stones and do not buy eternal soul stones. I've been baited so many times and, um, you know, at first I was a bit like, well, you know, like say, for example, you've got a champion like Foley. And I, I buy, you know, I use my soul essences to buy all the awakenings um, for Foley. But then I pull an immortal soul stone and I get a six star for him. You've just completely wasted it. However, doing this over like a year, year and a half now, um, it is just a waste. I have lost so many immortal soul essences and eternal soul essences. So that is really, really important. You want to make sure that you are buying these over the Immortal Soul Stones and the Eternal Soul Stones because the, the pull rates are just terrible. If you're a big spender, yeah, it's fine. You know, you are going to buy these. But at the end of the day, the Immortal Soul Essences and Eternal Soul Essences will help. Like it's, it's annoying how the system works because if you want to awaken a champion, you know, I'm desperate to level out my Leores. And I think he's at four stars at the moment. But I've not seen a five star in the shop for forever, like months. So it is a slow process, but it's guaranteed. And it is definitely better than just trying to try your luck and pull from mortal soul stones and eternal soul stones. And the other thing to add as well is that all of my best pulls have been from mortal soul stones, which sounds crazy. It doesn't make sense. You know, these are the lowest tier out of all three of these. But, you know, I've probably pulled probably, I reckon, about 40 Eternal Soul Stones since they've been released. Immortal Soul Stones, probably about 70, 80. And Immortal Soul Stones, like thousands, you know. So they are definitely the best way to go. And you want to make sure you get, you know, these Immortal Soul Stones and Eternal Soul Stones. Uh, I could not just stress it enough for you guys. And, yeah. And th the other thing as well is, like, when you are buying from the Soul Merchant, 
I'm only buying for champions that I use in Hydra and Arena. And to be fair, you want to be doing it on your best champions. You know, if if someone's like sort of mid tier, no, you are only buying for your absolute best champions. Like I will buy for my top two nukers and then I'm going to be buying for my top two supports for Arena. And then I'm going to be looking at Hydra. Um, but yeah, that's how you should be doing. Don't just buy for everyone and anyone, only for your absolute best champions. So I hope this is going to help some of you guys out and make better decisions in the future and get your accounts as strong as possible as soon as possible. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.